hello guys welcome to this new tutorial in this video i will show you how we can uh, change the folder structure of the xcode project so that your code will be look like very uh, refined and very structured i am creating the new ios application and i'll now i will give the name as a demo app uh, to show how we can structure the code so everything will remain same we will uh, click on next button here we can see it's asking for the location i'll choose the desktop as my location of the project so i have chosen and let's create the project so uh, the project is being created you can see there are couple of folders available so this is the current structure of our demo app now in demo app we have couple of files and folders available so what we will do we will just restructure all these things by creating the different different folders we can create folders by using new group options so we will name it as a app delegate after this we will create a new group for the sources and all the resources let's name it as a uh, app delegate what we will do we will keep all the delegate file inside this folder so i am doing the same i am creating the uh, new group for the sources all the source files the view controllers the managers the utilities all the files will come inside this folder and i am creating new folder which is called the resources all the resources images storyboards and other json file will come inside this resource folder now let's move these uh, app delegate and scene delegate inside the delegate folder so it will be more structured so i have placed the files inside the folder so you can delete these files uh, this is having no existence here and now we have to add the delegate file into the target so we can do this like selecting the, this file keep in mind that these three should be selected so that it, it will not give me any error so it is uh, selected and i have like added these files let's try run this code it is working on not yeah so build succeed it's working now we can place other files into the respected folders what we will do we will go uh, and we will yeah it's working we will add the view controller file inside the resource folder so let's create the new folder which is called the view controller and view controller will having all the view controllers uh, whatever we are having inside our application all the code will be we will put inside the review controller all the features that we are going to develop all the logic behind the ui related things and the view controllers will come inside this view controllers apart from this there are utils so we will create the utilities util folder and all the utilities we will put here and apart from this we do have the managers so we will create the manager folder all the managers we will put here like do we have the network manager the coordinator manager so we can put all the managers here now it's time to move this view controller file inside the sources under the view controller folder so this will be more structured we can remove this red file now we will add the file that we have uh, copied inside the view controller so this will be available for our target so now as you can see the file is added in the same way we can do the rest of the things so uh, inside the managers i am creating one file so that this will give you the idea how we can use all the managers inside this so i have created the network manager here for example i am not writing the code in entire code but i have created this file so you can use all your manager files from here now what we will do we will create the new folder inside the resources by creating the new group new group we can consider this as a folder we will name it as the assets all the assets will come inside this folder 
we will also create couple of more groups inside the resource folder now let's move the assets under the resource folder inside the assets we can remove this and uh, now we need to add the assets inside the target so i have added this now we have better structure as we as the export giving us by default let's run it it is compiling or not build succeeds that means it's working fine now it's time to move the storyboards so uh, we will move the storyboard inside the resources but as i have not created the storyboard folder inside the resources so let's first create the storyboard folder right click and create new group Na let's name it as a storyboard storyboards so all the storyboard will come under this folder this is the default story mode and whatever we will create in the future for our project we will put all the story mode inside this story mode folder now we can add these story modes into the project so we will not select this base dot project file we will only select the story mode launch and main and we can remove this from here so uh, by doing this you can see it is well structured as before and everything is written inside the folders let's run it is it compiling or not so it will succeed it so by doing this you can structure your code each file and folder you can structure over each files my my simulator is not working so i quit the simulator and again rerunning this project now it's built succeeded you can see so by doing this we can structure our code we can do this from the starting of the project or if you have not done this in the starting you can do this in the middle of the project also if you are working in a well structured project everything will be in good manner now i am adding new folder json files if you have suppose the json file locally then you can put all the json file inside this folder and all the view control will come here now i will change the color of the view controller so that you guys you guys can know this project is working after structuring of the folders and files so as you can see it is working we can change the launch screen also i am adding the label in the launch screen and i will name it as the new folder structure when i run this again the launch screen will appear with the title and the view controller will appear with red color let's give the constraint yeah i did now let's run the code it is done the launch screen then the view controller we have created different folders and if we have put it all the files into the related folders by doing this your code will be very structured and it's very easy to understand thanks for watching my video if you really like my video if this video helps you then you can subscribe my channel thank you